Self-help treatment for panic attack. Although it is not advisable to diagnose yourself with a panic attack, it is really not sensible to wait until your supposed attack is over before you do something about it. Here are the things you must know so that when you feel that you are having an attack, you know what to do. Understand what panic attack all is about. Awareness is the most important weapon to combat panic attacks because when you feel or know that you are under an attack, it is much easier for you to counter the effects of the symptoms that go along with it. Remember this, panic attacks can happen to anyone. It can happen to a stressed and depressed people as well as happy and healthy ones. It can happen without warning, without any apparent reason. Triggers can also cause irrational and exaggerated fear and anxiety. A chemical imbalance in the body, low serotonin and low progesterone levels, can trigger an attack. And while there are so many studies that suggest some causes of panic attacks, the condition is still not fully understood. Know its symptoms. For most people, there is no easy telling whether or not they are experiencing a panic attack during the moment of attack since it is difficult for them to rationalize things and to differentiate what is real from the unreal. While this is the case, it is not really an excuse. Here are the symptoms of panic attacks, heartbeat or palpitation, chest pain, hyperventilation or shortness of breath, stomach churning, upset stomach, trembling and shaking, muscle tension, sweating. Dizziness and lightheadedness, hot or cold flashes, tingling sensation or numbness, fear of dying, going crazy or losing control and feeling detached from the surroundings. Take note that people react to triggers differently, thus symptoms may vary from person to person. Practice deep breathing. Deep breathing during an attack is the most effective way to reduce the symptoms you are experiencing as well as divert your attention from the fearful thought. Breathe in deeply for three slow counts, hold your breath for three slow counts, and breathe out for another three slow counts. Repeat this process until you feel you are calm. You can also breathe into a paper bag. This reason for this is that rebreathing your carbon dioxide helps correct the blood acid level that had been disturbed by excessive breathing. Stay positive. While it is easier said than done, staying positive during an attack will speed up your recovery. Let the situation flow while keeping in mind that it will go to pass. An attack peaks for 5 to 10 minutes and rarely extends for more than half an hour so do not think that you are going crazy, or going to die, even if it feels that you are going crazy, or going to die. Avoid unnecessary stress. While you cannot avoid every stressful situation and it is also unhealthy to turn your back on situations that need to be addressed, avoiding unnecessary stress help reduce the chances of you experiencing an attack. Stay away from people who stress you out, from a relationship that causes stress, and situations that get you tensed. Learn to say, no, if you have other important things to do, do not work for extended hours, do not accept additional work if you know you cannot do it properly, etc. What can you do to stop anxiety attacks? Episodes of anxiety attacks can be uncomfortable, unpleasant and unhealthy. Because of this, most people head to the medicine cabinet for quick relief. While some may find medications as an effective way to battle anxiety, there are more natural and equally effective ways of dealing with your excessive emotion without subjecting the body to different negative side effects. Exercise, exercise improves the health of the body and mind and improves the overall well-being of a person. A 30-minute exercise, 3 to 5 times a week is enough to provide anxiety relief. Increasing to at least an hour of aerobic exercise each day provides maximum benefits for relieving stress and anxiety. Sleep, a popular adage, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise, speaks of the importance of sleep in the overall health of a person. Qualitative sleep for 8 hours a day is a proven and effective technique to battle stress as well as anxiety attacks. Healthy diet, along with exercise, diet plays an important role in the overall health of the body. Eating healthy food maintains the normal chemistry and hormones of the body as well as provided resistance to common ailments that increases the risk of anxiety attacks. Avoid unnecessary stressor, most stressor are unavoidable, and it is also unhealthy to turn your back to certain situations that need to be addressed. Still, some situations and people cause unnecessary stress that results in anxiety attacks. 
Avoid people that stress you out, learn how to say no, trim down your to-do list, avoid sensitive topics such as politics and religion, etc. Relaxation techniques, yoga, meditation, taiji, progressive muscle relaxation, visualization, and breathing exercises can reduce anxiety and promote the feeling of relaxation and emotional well-being. Keep a positive outlook, while it is very difficult to maintain a good attitude when experiencing an anxiety attack, it is very crucial to be more conscious and help stay in control over the situation to effectively battle your condition. Do not think, oh no, not again, or I'm screwed, when an episode hits you. Think that it will be over soon and control your emotions so that your anxiety will now get worse. If the above-mentioned techniques do not work for you, it is probably time to consult a health professional about your health. Since symptoms of anxiety attacks may be a result of other psychological and physical conditions, you need to see your medical doctor first and get a complete physical in order to rule out any other possible causes. If anxiety prevails and symptoms last for more than one to two weeks, especially if you have no idea why see a trained therapist. A person with anxiety disorder usually goes under medication, therapy or both. Prescription drugs for anxiety are usually antidepressants and benzodiazepines. However, they provide short-term relief and thus, another therapy is often recommended. Therapies given are cognitive behavioral therapy and exposure therapy. They are both effective, especially when combined with medication, to treat anxiety disorders. Cognitive behavioral therapy helps patients to replace negative thoughts with positive ones. Exposure therapy, on the other hand, helps treat anxiety attacks by subjecting the patients to control fear in a safe and controlled environment. Through repeated exposure, patients gain greater self-control and more confidence in facing fearful situations. What you should do if you had a panic attack. Experiencing a panic attack for the first time can be distressing not only because of the actual experience during the attack but also because you tend to develop fear of future attacks. Also known as anticipatory anxiety, fear of future attacks causes continuous fear and tension disabling you to relax. Often when the condition is not addressed, it will lead to phobic avoidance wherein you avoid places, situations, gatherings, and events where emergency help is not readily available or where having an attack can be embarrassing. Take into extreme, this condition may lead to agoraphobia where you begin to avoid much of the activities you usually do. To avoid this, consider the following advice. 1. Consult your medical doctor. Symptoms attributed to panic attacks such racing heart, chest pain, heavy breathing, profuse sweating, agitation, etc., are also common to other physiological and psychological conditions. Seeking for proper diagnosis from your doctor, therefore, will rule out any cause unrelated to anxiety. Tell him your symptoms, when did the attack happen, and how intense the attack was. Your doctor will ask about your past medical history and may run some tests, e.g. urine test, blood test, drug screens, etc. 2. See a therapist who is properly trained to handle such psychological conditions. No, you are not crazy, people who go to a therapist are not crazy. The reason why you have to see a therapist is to process your emotion and prevent future attacks. Do not wait too long to seek help. Left untreated, a panic attack can lead to more severe conditions. Your therapist may subject you to cognitive behavioral therapy and exposure therapy to process your thoughts. 3. Find the cause of the attack. Some cases of panic attacks may show a pattern, certain activity, thoughts, time or person you are with at the time of the attack. These give you important clues to eliminate later symptoms. 4. Learn some relaxation techniques you can practice at home or while out. Music, meditation, yoga, and breathing techniques are not only helpful in reducing the symptoms during the actual attack but also in strengthening your body's relaxation response. 5. Do not add more fear. Absorbing all the fears and other negative thoughts that come with anxiety attack only adds to more fear which worsens the negative impact even further. Instead, recognize that you are afraid and make it work to your advantage. 6. Practice a healthy lifestyle, regular exercise, balanced diet, and enough sleep. 
Studies prove that at little as 30 minutes of physical activity three to five times a week is a great stress buster, helpful in preventing future attacks. A balanced diet keeps the supply of nutrients and maintains the balance of a chemical in the body. Sleeping at least eight hours each day recharges the body, refreshes the mind, and calms the muscles. 7. Remove all unnecessary stress. Since panic attacks are closely linked to stress, avoiding things, people, and situations that stress you out help reduce the chance of future attacks. 8. Educate yourself about panic attacks. There are many resources where you can learn more about the condition. Reading books, health magazines and internet articles about the panic attack will equip you with the right information.